So this is the SFI section, uh, SFI actions for hedgerows. I don't know whether you can see this. It's on the government website, SFI actions for hedgerows. Now, if you've got a lot of hedgerows or even a few hedgerows on farm, you need to think about doing this because really, at the end of the day, this is money for old rope. Right, so, trees, you know I love a tree. Uh, this is a little bit of an extra. I'm about to do my usual thing every year, I do every year, save a tree, put a new tree in the farm without costing me a penny. You know I did my 40 trees for 40 years, that cost me quite a lot, and it will cost you money if you wanna put a tree on your farm, no doubt about it. I think a minimum is probably 25 quid, probably for a reasonable sized tree with a, with a tree guard around it. However, you can do free trees on your farm. And, the, and I say that if you've got a little bit of knowledge of what you're looking for. So let me just so, zoom around here. Okay, so over there is a field maple. Now you can just see, maybe you can just see the branches there. Field maple that is. Not the best specimen in the world, but actually, do you know what? Trees don't always grow straight. There, there's a... There's the branches of a field maple here. I'm pretty sure that's field maple. Just there. Yeah, it is. Look, there. In fact, I can see the leaves up there, which show, show me. So, I've done this in quite a few places where there weren't any other suitable trees. The field maple's a lovely tree. It's not a big tree, but it, it, autumn colours are wonderful. Um, and as you know, I like to have trees everywhere on the farm, really. Uh, one of the best places is probably in the corners of a hedge, where you can't really get the hedge trimmer around. Um, you know we've got a lot of problems with trees now in the UK we, we're, Dutch elm disease is a, is a nightmare because you can leave the trees to grow up till they're probably I don't know 30 foot and then they're dead the ash dieback's a problem and there's a couple of ash trees are behind me just there now I would normally try and save elm trees or ash trees because they're big hardwood trees that will grow big and last a long time or they would have. Now, ash is, we're not sure where we're going with ash dieback yet, but I think that's probably curtains for most of them. The elm tree is definitely no good. That's gonna be 20 years old at most and then it'll live. Um, but uh, you, if you don't replace some trees, then eventually you've got a pretty barren place. Uh, and look at this one, even if it doesn't get ash dieback, that's really reaching the end of its, its life, isn't it? Look at it, quite rotten. Although, do you know what? That If that doesn't get ash died back, that could probably last another 30 years. The thing about um, ash trees, they do seem to go on a long time. They, they, they rot from the middle and stay up hollow. And as I said before, the um, woodpeckers love them. But the thing is, as, back to my subject of, of putting a new tree on the farm each year. You can, if you look in the hedgerows around your farm, if you've got a farm, look out for maybe an oak sapling or... Uh, field maple you might have other trees you might have birches and beeches depends where you are really isn't it there's no beeches around here really not in this area um but they're quite common on some other places aren't they some other parts of the world and same with birch you wouldn't see a silver birch or a birch tree in any woodland in this part of gloucestershire but uh you go to some bits and it's it's natural isn't it um so i i'm gonna tr i'm gonna trim around this uh field maple now with my trusty hedge trimmer there and uh, leave, I'm just going to go around this side because I'm doing half the hedge this side this year. The other half gets done this year, next year. I'm just going to take the top off there. And I think I probably did leave that last year. So it's a corner, corner plot. It won't get in the way of anything and it'll just bring a bit of colour. So let me just get my hedge trimmer and just start going round, all right? Dirty windows, I need to sort them out. Alright. Look, 1000 RPM I'm on. 
I had some advice to someone who said thousand RPM is the way to go. And I, I haven't got a lot of experience with thousand RPM, but it does seem to be, as he said, more fuel efficient and less revs on the tractor. So um, that's what I've switched to now. I do need. I tell you what, I do need. I do need some new tyres on this tractor. The front wheels keep skidding around when I'm driving. Right, let's have a look. wait for that to stop before I walk in front of it right so look there it is I I've, I've just let me just get up on the step a little bit you can see a little bit better now can you see that there is a, a fairly kind of obvious sort of start of a tree there now I think I trimmed around it last year on that other side so that is going to be something for the future right and if you followed me for quite a few years you'll uh you'll have seen i've been doing this a long time not just with um field maples but with oak trees as well um we'll have a look as i go around i'll add i'll add some more to this video we'll have a look i did a field maple a couple of years down the bottom we'll also not stop and look at the oak trees that i've rescued or created if you like and do you know what i have been hedge trimming now it must have been 20 years and some of those trees now are really quite substantial and i'm really kind of it gives me a lot of pride to see them as trees on the farm now really um and as i was going to say to you or oh, sort of said before this is a zero cost option this is more about your time and effort if you've got a farm and you want to do this it's about your time and, and inclination to do it because a lot of people aren't interested and i get that i'm interested um but you know, this is probably, I, from my opinion, this is a lot better than all these grand schemes that are coming out now because oh, we're seeing a lot of schemes where it's put trees over farmland and I'm not impressed with that really. I, I think um, there's a place for trees, definitely marginal land. And if you've got marginal land, that's great. But what I'm seeing is they're just plonking them willy nilly wherever wherever you can put them, good farming land, which, which people have taken centuries to get back to really good productive land. And where are we going to go with that in 100 years time if you keep putting up the population in the uk you keep putting solar farms over everything you keep putting trees and everything all you're going to do is you're going to import more food aren't you from abroad so where's your carbon footprint and all that do down that but 
what you need if you if every farmer could put trees into the landscape again like they they have done in the past with extra trees and hedgerows that's going to make as big as impact as someone putting 10 acres of land down and um do you know what i think there should be funding i don't think there is where you you can just get get funded for substantial trees to put in hedgerows you know why can't they have a tree hedgerow grant for land landscape landscape trees or something like that uh, because I'm seeing that there seems to be grants for large groups of trees but I don't think you can get individual like say if I wanted five oak trees I don't think I could just go and get five oak trees and get grant funding for it for that which I think is wrong I think you know if, if every farmer could put in five oak trees cool can you imagine the impact of that over the whole of the UK amazing and also broad canvas everywhere isn't it a bit of coverage for everywhere and rather than blocks of trees and then nothing I, I uh I'm rambling. I'm rambling and ranting. Right, let's get on. We'll look at another field maple. Then that, later on, I'm going to go and sh show you the rest of the big trees that I've kind of saved. All right, crack on. So as I say, here's what I did earlier. Well, if you look round here, it's, you can just see where I, I've cut round a tree, uh, some branches on the corner not that long ago, just to create this new uh, field maple. Right, we'll stop in a minute and have a look at that. I'm just going to carry on. Let's go on with the hedge cutting and then when I've trimmed round it, we'll see what, what I've done and, and what it looks like now after probably five years. Right, I'm going to stop by the tree uh, that I went by earlier and show you, I've trimmed round it now. Now, this is, this is, a great example of a tree to leave and it becomes something um oh it's gone very wet now look at this i made a nice rut here and if you look down there look at the water down there that's come across in the last couple of days so hence my problem of doing the trimming in january you can see it's a problem but hey that will recover i'll be rolling it later harry's coming down i've just seen harry we'll see him in a minute but look this is the field maple now I'm not sure how many years growth that is, probably about four from when I last stopped trimming around it or stopped trimming it off. That I would have I would have been cutting that to the level. But because it's got a good strong root, because it's been in that hedge a long time, it doesn't take much for the top to take off. Look at it. And uh, it will be the replacement for this ash here. Because this is on the way out now. Half of it's fallen off. Look, the woodpecker's had a go here. Look, the woodpecker hole up there. If you look the other side, you can see that there. That's where, from that side there, you can see a woodpecker hole there. That's the entrance they made, and then they've come down and dug into the tree, the rotten tree. And that snapped off a few years ago, but I think this has probably got ash dye back as well. So hence, uh, this, is, this is a good bit of tree to have to replace it. But look, a few more years time, that'll be big. Anyway, where's Harry? I saw him with the dog. The dog's on the lead. Actually, there he is. He's Hazza. He's walking the dog on the lead. It's better down here because the dog will leg it otherwise. We'll have a chat with him when he gets here. Hello. But he's got a coat on as well. He doesn't need a coat. Flipping heck. It's not cold. It's a Jack Russell. He doesn't need a coat. I don't know. All right, Ad. But you got shorts on, look at you. You're not cold. You're not cold, oh Harry. Anyway, come and look at this tree I've saved. See what you think. Hey? Yeah, we're gonna have a look at that in a minute. Bud Bud wants to go running, doesn't he? I saw four deer earlier. Did you? Yeah. He definitely over in Reggie's. He'd leg it, wouldn't he? So what do you think about this? Look, I've saved this tree on the corner. Could it even reach the boom? Well, no, I can cut right. I, yeah, it would have reached right across there. Only about four years ago, I stopped cutting that. You're supposed to say, yes, Dad, that's great for my future to see a tree yeah, there. It's, it's very nice. Harry, I'm trying to instill the love of wildlife into you and stuff. Mm. Right, let's go and have a look at the floods. Buddy, come on. He's just interested in the tractor. Yeah. Come on. And he's he wants to oh, wee on it. Of course he does. On he wees on anything. Right, let's go and have a look at the floods. I don't even go. Why are you wearing boots, not wellies? Because my wellies were 
You outside. poor boots, ain't you? Yeah. It's not really the weather for, this is so wet down here. So, my strategy of, of late um, hedge trimming might not pay off very well this year if I can't get down here. The forecast isn't great. So these lower fields, at least two of them might not get trimmed this year. Ooh, it's got to dry up quite a bit. It's very wet. It's a wet patch there. It is, isn't it? It's been the wettest winter I can remember for a long time. Doesn't seem to stop, does it? No. He wants to get in the water, do you reckon? He will, he will. He will. He ain't worried, is he? Oh, I must be freezing. His coat's going to get wet as well. Yeah. Oh. He's coming back now. He wants to be let off, really, doesn't he? Yeah, but he'd go mad. He would leg it, wouldn't he? He'd be free there and then we can't get him. I know. It. Hello, but mate. At least his legs are a bit cleaner now. Hmm. Right. Take some photos. Oh, buddy. Anyway, not long till you're, uh, off you're school. off school, isn't it? Half Two days. Term. Yeah, half term. It's only a week though. Someone's gonna have to do some hedge, uh, some. Um, some chain iron soon, I don't know who that could be. And some Buddy. rolling. Buddy might do some rolling. CGI. CGI. Yeah. But still, you've got to wait till you're 13, haven't you? Yeah. And Jean, you won't be doing any of that, will you? No. No. Right, anyway, let's get on, let's crack on. Let's go and have a look at these other trees. Right, I'm back on there trimming now. Harry, I've left Harry to it. He's actually out in the field. TikToking. There he is. Look. So if you didn't know already, look him up on uh, TikTok, Harry the Legend 10. <laughs> he called himself the Legend 10, I don't know, because he set up when he was 10, even though he's basically uh, 13 to have a TikTok. So he's called Harry the Legend 10, which is uh, no, no part on my, no, no thing to do with me, very modest, there he is. Let him get on with that. We'll stop and look at these other trees I, I created in a minute. Right. So, back in the field then. Right. So this is interesting. I, as you saw, uh, I was just finishing off there the other day with Harry. Um, it turned out the weather changed and I stopped hedge trimming. And I didn't really finish what I was talking about on the video, which actually turns out to be quite a good thing because I've actually made a few discoveries about some of the grant funding that's available now under SFI, um, Sustainable Farming, I think it's either initiative or incentive. Initiative, I think it is. So we're talk I'm talking about new grant funding, uh, which is out there now. Uh, it's kind of, we've lost the single farm payment. Those farmers out there that know about it will know that there was a payment called single farm payment, which we was paid by Europe. We Because of Brexit, we've lost that. The government decided to get rid of it. It's all going by 2028. We're on a sliding scale now. Now, SFI has come in and it's going to replace some of that funding. Now, I'm not convinced it's going to replace everything. Well, it won't. Um, but, uh, let me just see this, if I can find it. Um, we're in a situation now where we need to chase every penny. And I've discovered, you know, I was saying earlier that um, they should pay money for hedgerow trees and stuff. Well, part of the SFI is that um, you can get some funding Look at this, HRW3, maintain and establish hedgerow trees, how much you'll be paid. You'll receive 10 pounds per 100 meters for both sides of an eligible hedgerow per year. Now, that's uh, assuming you've got a tree in it. Now, you, this is really interesting because there's other payments as well. Uh, I'm going, so this is the SFI section, uh, SFI actions for hedgerows. I don't know whether you can see this. 
it's on the government website SFI actions for hedgerows now if you've got a lot of hedgerows or even a few hedgerows on farm you need to think about doing this because really at the end of the day this is money for old rope you've already got the hedgerows you've already got to maintain them get chase the funding on it and you will get money for looking after these hedgerows and you'll also get money for hedgerow trees so um, all I did right I did it on Google I put in SFI options for hedgerows and it popped up with those options now I'm already in countryside stewardship but my understanding is that you because I'm all in countryside stewardship for funding on hedgerows I can't claim all the money but I can claim some of the other options on it so worth looking at someone said to me the other day when I was trimming I did the video the other day about trimming the hedgerows on uh, on the sides for wildlife I did do them later in year. someone said that video was a lecture now I'm not lecturing anyone any, anything but I'm I'm giving them some advice on conservation but I'm also giving advice on funding out this out there to chase I'm going to be looking at other SFI options on the farm as well but this this hedgerow one's good so the reality is me putting saving these trees 20 years ago on my own back with no initiative and no sorry no incentive is now actually going to pay me dividends because i can claim the extra funding because i'm probably on most of my hedges i've got a tree at least every 100 yards 100 meters and i'll just i talked to you about the um let me just get out i talked to you about the ones that i left 20 years ago and we're going to walk by them now because they've become really established look at this a field maple here field maple now let's get across now look at this beauty this oak here this is this is a a beautiful size now look at this I 20 to 30 years ago I trimmed around this I can't remember exactly when right but look at it it's established now into a fairly big tree um, I'm really pleased with that now it, as I said to you before it wasn't difficult all I, you've got to do is know a little bit about what you're looking for okay so look let me just spin this around now really so that oak tree there that had been cut off for years absolutely years with the hedge trimmer going across and i could identify the 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 leaves on it let me just go along we'll have a look i can tell you now the oak has still got the leaves on it and look there's some in the hedgerow here potentially this is another oak tree if you really wanted it to be can you see there can you see the oak leaves on there? Look, look at it. So the oak leaves are still on it, look. Now, that, that tree there, another big oak like that one there, came from me seeing something like that in the hedgerow. And uh, I can't really look through very well, but let me just use this as an example, right? So I looked at it. I found, look, these are all wonky. You don't really want to make that into a hedge tree. But what you need to do is look in the hedge for one that's fairly straight and it'll be it's probably been chopped off for years like that one's been chopped off for years and what it is is a tree waiting to go it's just been waiting to give the chance to and you stop trimming and you just trim round it and it becomes that so it's all about what your potential is in your hedgerow um, the other thing i said i think i said that they ought to fund uh landscape trees or hedge and, and i looked on that link that i found and there is options in capital grants i think for hedgerow trees if you haven't got one in a hedge um that's under csi country stewardship i think the only thing i'd say about that is that i expect the funding isn't for a really substantial tree it's probably for something quite small and realistically my experience of that is don't go too small don't go too big big is a nightmare because you it won't probably survive very well too small and you're just waiting so long and it's it's going to be vulnerable to eating um you know by rabbits or something go go about that height chin height i reckon for a tree that's what you want about that uh and then make sure you water it in the first year or two but like i said if you can find a hedgerow tree look you're trimming around that the potential there is look at it brilliant isn't it from from that to that fantastic that's 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 going to be there for centuries hopefully so I, I wrap it on I know I do I wrap it on about hedgerows and about trees you know where my heart is on the tree factor you've seen it enough times I wouldn't have sent out 40 oak trees around 
around all of UK and Ireland if I didn't love them. But, you know, I hope some of you will take the initiative I have and, and do what I've done and, and trim around a few trees. That's why I do these sort of things. I just hope other people will think, oh, that's a good idea and do it. And um, when I went to Lama, I did meet a young lad. I've forgotten his name, unfortunately, but he told me he watched my videos and it inspired him to plant some trees, which was really, really lovely, actually. So hopefully that's what you'll do. And, and you'll also see that the me being a bit bonkers 20 years ago and thinking I need to put some trees on the farm is actually now going to pay me some dividends. I've got to do the SFI. I have yet to complete any application, but I think once I finish doing this hedge trimming round, for this year, I'm going to go on to the SFI website and sort myself out. I don't, to be honest, I don't really know what I'm doing yet because I haven't looked looked at it. But I've just, you know, like most farmers, I think we're running around ragged, and it is really hard to keep on top of this stuff. And you know what it's like. We think we can do everything, you know, and eventually, probably, you know, sometimes you just need to get an agent in to do it for you. But I'm I'm told this isn't too difficult, so I will be on the case with that. I'll let you know about that. All right, anyway, crack on. All right, I'm getting back to hedge trimming.